Hi, I'm Jerry the Free Spirit. Hey, what's up? I am the artist known as Africa's RPNG. And this is the Comic Expo Show. Yeah. So we're talking about AI. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. The thing doomed? that's going to take my job. Or are we doomed? Doomed. For, oh, really? for sure doomed. But no, you said that without even thinking. No, okay, not like that, but just I had an experience where um, I was on Discord looking for a job mm-hmm. and it got stolen by someone who's like selling AI artwork. So I kind of feel like there's going to be a big shift in how things go. There's already been a big mm-hmm. shift. So now we have to adjust and like, you know, if you don't adjust, I you yeah. doomed. <laughs> And you've experienced it firsthand. Yeah, it sucked, dude. It was How like, much money did you lose? A hundred and eighty bucks. Um, well, I, I mean, I didn't get it so tough. Um, the dude was um, wanting a redesign of his profile picture on Discord, and mm-hmm. I was going to draw that for him. And we were talking about how he's going to pay me. either PayPal, Cash App. It wasn't working because, you know, I'm in Zim, and PayPal doesn't work here, and mm-hmm. Cash App doesn't work here. And um, We had to then figure out, how can I get the money from him? I'm talking to him for like ten minutes. He's like, no, no, it's fine. Someone did the job. I'm like, in 10 minutes? How? How does That doesn't make sense. Wow. And then dude shows me a picture of the painting he bought. Um, and he's like, the guy won't remove the watermark. And I'm like, dude, this is AI. This is very clearly an AI-generated image. Mm-hmm. And now he's going back to the guy. The guy is dead silent. Can't contact the, the person he bought the painting from. Wow. And just, just like that, 140 bucks gone. Wow. Well, 140 from him, 180 from me, technically. 80, how? Huh? He was going to pay me 180, and then he paid the other guy 140. Oh, okay, okay. So it was cheaper and faster. Yeah, yeah. Mm. cheaper and faster. He has, he has a watermark. He can't use it. <laughs> I don't understand. How, if you're going to sell something that you got for free, at least yeah. just sell the actual thing. Yeah. Hey, I, don't, I don't know why you got to scam me. So as maybe well. then that means there's someone like you you can tell mm. the difference between a real art and ai art. yeah yeah Maybe that's because like, i make it huh that's because i make it i think that it, it, it plays a big part yes so maybe you should educate people because not everybody wants ai art true true true. except for someone who specifically says you i want my stuff done in 10 minutes i don't care about the watermark mm-hmm. let's just do it yeah i think so i think, I think that'd, that'd be sick because then think the population needs to be i would like to know yeah less stuff like this happens you know because yes. then you buy what you're looking for yeah <laughs> wow so have you used ai i have i have i've made a couple of pieces it was yeah. like way back when it actually just got released to the public mm-hmm. so i made like a couple of landscapes just kind of playing around with words seeing how i had an idea mm-hmm. um i think one of my very first um, public pieces was about an existential crisis I had. Okay. So I put the same words existential crisis into the mid journey bot and mm-hmm. it returned like entirely different results. Wow. I don't know if I have the images still, but it was like stark contrast. So my mind and AI could never come up with the same thing. So you're not going to be using it again? Um, not that way. Not to like make a piece and then sell it, mm-hmm. but like to just get ideas from. Okay, you know, just okay. to generate images. Let's say I want to, like, see a person with, like, a whole bunch of swords. Mm-hmm. And I don't have, like, uh, the, the the images I need. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe type that into mid-journey, see what comes out. And then from there, add ideas, remove ideas, see what works, mm-hmm. and come up with the finished idea. Okay. That's what was being talked about on a Twitter space mm-hmm. that I was a part of. Well, not a part of. I just listened in. Okay. Yeah. This guy called Peter Moorbacher. He was talking about how he uses AI in his workflow nowadays. Mm-hmm. Um, it's more of a kickstand or like a, uh, you know, jumpstart okay. to your creativity. Like uh, in fashion, we call it a mood board. Exactly, mood exactly. Board, inspiration board. Yeah, you can make mood boards out of yeah. a bunch of AI paintings. As and opposed then the to, rest is you. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So okay. it just speeds up your process. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you won't be using it to make final art? Nah, I don't think so. It's, it's mm-hmm. not like... It's, it doesn't do the things that I want to do. Mm-hmm. You know, it, 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 I could see from its composition that I would put things in different places, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I would be more frustrated covering up what I would do differently with the mm-hmm. AI than actually just getting AI work out, you know. Okay. So then it would just take me the same 10 hours after rendering a piece for 10 yeah. minutes. You know? so. If you still have to do corrections. Mm-hmm. So you, make, you bring up an important point Mm -hmm. that ai would never Mm. be a person's brain a human's brain yeah it just doesn't do the same things no 
it even it, though it's sufficient in some ways mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but like you were saying the way you think the way you would do your composition it's very unique mm. even ai can't yeah can't it's just not that. the same okay because i'm coming up with ideas in a way that's unique to my life experiences mm-hmm. it's coming up with ideas in a way again similar like unique to its life experiences mm-hmm. in quotes because it's a yeah. robot <laughs> um but like it's the life experiences of everyone on the internet Mm-hmm. So it's always going to make something that kind of, generic. yeah, mm-hmm. something that's kind of robotic. It's kind of taken everything into account mm-hmm. and it's got not enough specificity to it. Mm-hmm. So that I think and is there's a only one big Jerry difference. Bacasa. Only one. Only one, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Um, but like, I don't know. Do you think we are in trouble as artists? Imagine if someone took Ja Preza's voice mm. and just started making beats. <laughs> up there. I can imagine AI speaking in Shana, bro. Yeah, why not? <laughs> but you could be singing in English or Japanese or Spanish, That's but with true. that Japanese, the voice is just very unique. Mm. And then mm. they use the Mbira and everything. Mm, that'd be How tough. How scary is that? I guess we have to step up our game as artists. Um, How cause... do we step up our game? How can we fight AI? How can, if you were Japanese, how would you stop it from happening? I mean, if I'm a musician, I just have to make better songs than a robot. Um, so that's he already does yeah he already does Mm -hmm. so I think he's he's okay but Mm -hmm. if you currently cannot make better songs than a robot get practicing there's a lot of people yeah that's that are in trouble then (laughs) because like the baseline has just gone up yeah the 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 baseline for oh this art is good Mm -hmm. it's gone so far up because AI is so accessible but I'm curious (laughs) if that was to happen anyway Mm mm-hmm I mean, everyone knows who Japanese is. He could still do shows. Maybe it would actually make him more famous. Yeah, yeah. Because imagine if some Japanese owner was like, oh man, this, vo- this guy's voice. Mm-hmm. You could have shows in Japan. Exactly. I mean, he's not there. <laughs> but he's not there, exactly. Yeah, his name's then, getting out there. Yeah. So I guess if you like uh, strategically use it, you know, let's say Japanese's label, they decide, ah, let's make some, um, let's train some bots to sing like him, mm-hmm. post it everywhere else so it's free marketing. And then we actually but release the, him. But if that if they're gonna do that anyway, mm-hmm. what's the difference with what he's currently doing? Then like a, the it's, it's more aggressive, I think. Because mm. if you have a bunch of fake Drakes running around or fake Japrezas running around, for example, mm-hmm. then people know the idea of a real Japreza exists somewhere out there. Mm-hmm. And then they go looking for it as opposed to playing with the fakes. You know? Mm. Cause if imagine if um the real one is only in Zim like Korea, Japan, mm. blah, blah. If they have like a fake one playing in Korea, maybe a Korean will now try and find... And be like, wait, we need this own to come and have a show. Because an AI can't have music. It can't have a can't live, have live show. shows. It, mm, wait, can it not? How? I don't think it can yet, but I think we'll f- See, they'll figure it out Human beings are still superior, I'm saying. I think they'll you figure it out You can't dance soon. like Japanese as an AI. They are AI animations, actually. But They're... who wants to see an animation when there's a real person? Ah, but anime and I like, don't want to see an animated Drake. I want to see live Drake. I honestly would rather see an animated Drake. I think the, <laughs> the argument for like AI um, TV shows and um, what's the word, animations, etc., etc., is uh. there because we've already got like an abstraction of reality mm-hmm. with animations and all that other stuff. So this is just like another version of that. So this is just like a Drake who can probably do cartwheels and... Yeah, dance. Drake never like, does cartwheels. Drake too. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. That yeah, I mean, not that he needs to, but just... But you know, I, you can I'd make like him do anything. I would pay money to see that, actually. I'd pay money Drake. to see Drake do cartwheels. <laughs> yeah, Drake do cartwheels. <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> Speaking of all the outlandish things you could make superstars do with AI, if you could have anyone on an album, let's say like a three-track three, three track EP, mm-hmm. right? Any any lineup you could put anyone on anyone it. in the world anyone okay. ever. Mm. I would have Lincoln Park. Okay. Winky Strong D. Strong start. Okay. And this is one track, by the way. It's a collabo. Mm-hmm. Lincoln Park, Winky D, and Mozart. Lincoln Park, Winky D, and Mozart. That's like a banger, club banger, even. I feel like I feel like you you went a different direction for the club banger. Which club is no, this no, banger? No. Oh, it, would, it would be an emo club. <laughs> an emo club, okay. An emo woke okay. club. That okay, is that makes into sense. 
an hey, emo. Clubs are different. People are into different things. Yeah, that's true. That's true. An emo world club that's into classical. I'd like yeah, to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With some I'm, culture. You know? I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> what would you? Who they don't have, have a dance floor. They have like a area with like yoga mats. Yes, yes, yes. Meditation. Get you thinking. But still <laughs> Get you vibing. Zen. Yeah, still vibing. I bet, bet. Um, who I would have. Uh, I've always wanted to hear Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole on a thing, mm-hmm. like an album, but they did like a song, um, so I think we, we can't have that one. Oh, um, okay. I think Michael Jackson, uh, who else? Is Mike. this still with, in addition to... No, no, okay, no. Okay. this is Axel. This is now a new... Okay, yeah, okay. Just, just, okay, we'll start from here. So, <laughs> Michael Jackson. my three, Strong yeah. start. Michael Jackson, because mm-hmm. um, I need that. Yeah. Need that bounce that he yes. has and the high pitched voice and the hee hee. I need I need that. Mm-hmm. Right. Um Kendrick Lamar because okay. he needs some, you know, education in your music and that, you know, um Okay. Kendrick Lamar after Tip of a Butterfly. Um <laughs> Who else is the third person? Any locals? Locals. Billy is the majestic. Okay. Like he can just fit into any any mold musically i think like he's he's very versatile mm-hmm. he can sing he can rap he can make beats so you put him in a room with two dudes who make really good music i think magic will come out so it's also another banger mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. this this one's like you know it's it's introspective it's like a we are the world type song oh, okay you know okay. it's it's not a banger this one like you know it'll do like a charity run like remember uh <laughs> Yeah, no, they'll It'll do like, like charity a local concerts. Citizen type of yes, okay. yes, we're okay. saving the world. We're oh, ending world hunger. I love that. We are fighting AI. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> we're saving the penguins by making an AI album. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think that AI is ever going to be regulated by governments? I think so. Because, I mean, left to its own device, I believe we're going to go into some rocky ground mm-hmm, the future. it's gonna look like the wild west it's gonna be the wild west and mm-hmm. there's if there's no regulation mm. i think um the same way that we've had like copyright laws for new things that are coming out for mm-hmm. like uh video games and films and all that stuff it's just gonna have the same things mm-hmm. it's gonna be a weird thing to figure out because it's so meta like yeah the way copyright has worked so far is if i create an idea let's say uh, a book yeah. right Anyone can make a book. Anyone can write a book. Mm-hmm. Um, but the words that are in my book are very specific. Um, right. So I have a copyright over the words that I've written. So now the same with AI, the thing is it could be taking paragraphs from my book, from yours, from hers, from his, And then it's like one big... Now it's a new book, in quotes. It's mm-hmm. similar to the way people have been writing before, but people were adding things. AI is kind of just... Compiling, compiling things so it's so how yeah that's gonna be hard to regulate yeah i, I don't understand read, it you're gonna have to read all those books to know okay that's mm-hmm. this person's book and that person's book yeah it's it's hard to then discern whose copyright is it is it the original person mm-hmm. or is it not the person who's compiled everything mm-hmm. i yeah. wonder how it's going to be like in zim if at all we're going to regulate it i think it's going to be as unregulated as like content right now yeah like you, you see people selling all kinds of Disney films and Pixar films outside OK for like a dollar for two. Mm. And What's his name? Uh, mm. That guy from like 10 years ago. Even at a sound Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> shout out Jack Sparrow. <laughs> ah, goodness. I watched so many so films. Many. I had so many. Like, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I think so we many. still have like a, like a big cardboard box full of oh, just my just DVDs. DVDs. Like, like what Zara. am I going to do? I'm going to make art. Because, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot Jack Sparrow existed. Jack Sparrow. I don't remember that theme That was song. the song. And then the people at Avondale mm. saying, oh, I bought my CD at Jack Sparrow. Something like that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Before you watch the movie, there's a whole, like, five people yes. talking about Jack Sparrow movies. I forgot about that. They had, like, a whole Star of Him ad roll. Yes, yes, yes. I, mean, I was like, wow. That guy. Is. Ain't no way. How did they fall off? What happened? Well, everyone got access to the internet. Oh, oh, that oh, that sucks. Yeah. They should have started a streaming service or something. Because I know they, 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 were they were on top, guys. They were on top. They were, on top. <laughs> they were I'm sure doing, doing something everything. well. With I'd hope so. Life. I'd yeah, hope so. Shout sure. out Jack Sparrow, man. Yeah, Jack Sparrow. I watched so many <laughs> movies because of you guys. You stole all of them, and I appreciate that. I really do. I really do. Shout out to <laughs> Um, Do you know about Zivai? 
Um, I think I've heard of it in passing. So you know how there's no chat GPT in Zim? Yeah, yeah, regional. So it's pretty much like that, mm -hmm. but for Zimbabweans. And I like that because, you know, we don't have to be left out of things just yeah. because just because they're just not available really in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. So it's Kudam Sasiwa. Oh. I think I think that is my name. Yeah, mm -hmm. the fish in the box guy. Oh, okay, okay. He's the one who developed that app. That's cool. So which is awesome because a child everywhere, twelve year old somewhere to high school can get their homework done. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, so now mm -hmm. you said Zivai. Zivai. So yeah. Zivai dot com or dot Koza or uh, I don't know, just Wait, type in Koza Zivai. W, I guess, yeah. Koza W, yeah. Yeah. Dot A I. Zivai dot AI. AI yeah. That's clever. I like those little websites where Oh it's like actually a, do you know how it's written, the logo or mm. the how it's written, it's Z I B. Mm -hmm. Dot so, AI. Or no, no, no. <laughs> so it's like capital Z and mm -hmm. then I V mm -hmm. and then AI. And it's Ziv I. It oh, reads wait, as Ziv I, oh. but like it's written as Ziv AI. Oh, okay, okay. So Ziv I, actually, you can input in local languages and other African languages, oh, which yeah. is so awesome because everyone is represented. Mm -hmm. People can't be left behind just because they don't speak English. Yeah. So you can put whatever you want to Shona, you can do your Shona homework. Mm -hmm. Everyone. And Buya can use that chat GPT. Mbuya, my Mbuya can use it. It's actually really cool that like uh, it's programmed for us by us. I heard that it was programmed by local um, programmers. Mm -hmm. so and it's based off Chat GPT four. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So it takes um, like what I was saying, taking mm -hmm. AI and using it to just do everything that everyone else is doing. Yes. No, we don't like, have there's, to. Because like there's 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 Chat Sonic, there's mm -hmm. Chat GPT, and now there's Zivai. Zivai. Hmm. Yeah. We did a questionnaire on Com Exposed yeah, to find out how that? people feel about. AI and I'm just gonna read two responses because we don't ones. have time. Yeah, there are some wild ones. Okay, mm. Hanzi, the best thing that ever happened to mankind and also our end. True, mm -hmm. very cynical, but yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Like it's gonna go crazy, yeah. but at the same time, it's gonna suck. Yeah, and um, oh my gosh, someone says those ro robot apocalyptic movie concepts are slowly becoming a reality. I love chat. Uh, this person's obviously not on Zim, but anyway. I mean, I think they've already become a reality. Like the whole creepy robot um, dystopia thingy. Because mm -hmm. mm. we have, <clears throat> you can you can talk to your phone um, yes. and it'll talk back to you as, mm -hmm. as they did in like, you know, the Star Trek, Star Wars movies, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, your phone is always listening to you. You have people like, uh, so we're watching you through your webcam, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. It's privacy is almost non-existent now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so the future was predicted hmm, hmm. well i hope it doesn't go bad like they predicted in the movies it might. i hope it stops there i mean Just... I, I doubt it <laughs> i doubt it I, I think we're gonna keep making new things to mess with each other in weird ways um yeah. that should be fun to wow. watch to hey, to watch my it play out. conclusion is humans will always be superior or to robots to anything i mean based off what dude based off mm. where else can you find human beings we're the most unique i mean of but our, of all species including robots but everything's unique dog no but then we're unique with heart and soul but a cat has a heart and soul. A dog has Who? a heart and soul. A cat has a heart and soul. I heard animals don't have souls, but that's a story for another day. But like, who's to say that animals don't have souls? We can't talk to them. We can't ask if they have a soul. They can talk to each other, but they can't talk to us. Imagine like we're living on different planes we of have dominion soul existence. over everything. That's, I mean, how, that's why you can never be a dog's pet. But it can be your pet. You can train it. I mean, that's, that's totally fair to say. Um, but I just feel like to say that humans are just we're always going to be winning ah, I, I, believe, I don't know sure. I believe we're always going to be winning if, if there's we, Ubuntu in us that I think it's ingrained in us at the end of the day human beings are human beings ah, you can't replace that you can try I mean that's fair you can't I think you, can, you can't replace the humanity but I think um, as a species we got a lot of growing to do before we can like claim we're the top dogs of everything well I, dude, I just I'm just <laughs> Do you know why I'm saying that? Yeah, we'll see. I know we're running out of time, but uh -huh. if the opposite, if we were to exchange roles with anything else, mm -hmm. with trees ruling the world, dogs ruling the world, AI ruling the world, mm -hmm. it just wouldn't function. 
the way it's supposed to function. But when human beings are not saying that we're perfect. Interesting. I'm just comparing to what else is out there. We're still superior because I believe we have humanity. That's, that's, ve- that's, that's crazy, very wow. interesting. No, that, yeah. no, that's a very interesting point. Because mm-hmm. um, like human society has its own little collapse that's going on. Mm-hmm. And I would assume that the trees don't have like a big economic collapse going on. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think there's like a shortage of leaves or water <laughs> that is really, you know, making trees fight other trees. But that's us. You know, the ones who mm-hmm. are making the shortage. No, but like, you, you're seeing what I mean. Yeah, I see what you mean. Even though we're so developed. But then I think they live well amongst themselves, but mm-hmm. they would never live as rulers of the world. Do you get it? But like trees, dog. Me, I'd be afraid of a, like a sentient tree. Have you seen Lord of the Rings? Groot. The ants. Nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> Groot is... Nah, nah, Groot, Groot, Dad. Lord of the Rings, bro. Like the ants. The, the giant... I haven't items. watched Lord of the Rings. Yes, yes, yes. Big Please. Side. Let's okay, not well, talk big... about this because a lot of people are like, yo, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, basically, it's like a, a giant tree, uh, 10, 10, 20 meters tall, uh-huh. and it talks and it thinks. So it protects the other trees and the rest of, like, you know, the forest around. It. So if trees were sentient, that's what I think they'd be like. And if they were like that, me, I would bow to that 10 foot tree, bro. I'm chilling. Okay. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd, I'd allow him to do what he does. I'd behave over here. I'm sure I'm, we still have a lot of years to go as the universe. So let's see. It, yeah. could, it could happen. Hopefully, in our. Not, not not in our lifetime. Hopefully not in our lifetime. Yeah. I don't want to be ruled by a tree. I don't want to see no tree walking and talking. I mean, okay, yeah, I don't want to be ruled by a tree, but I'd like to meet one. You know, it'd be fun. I would like to dream about it. I think I think VR could do that for you. Yes. There'd, there'd probably be a thing yes, for that. Yes. AI could do that for you. You could have a little. You just tell Chat GPT make a no. Tell ZY to yeah. you know <laughs> turn me into a tree. You know, yes. a ten foot tall tree. Yeah. Jerry, hmm. we have to leave everybody. Gotta love you, leave you, goodbye. We talked enough about AI and <laughs> See you next week. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>